What's going on, guys? Um, there's going to be a, a mixture of two things in this video. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about um, WrestleMania 27 trip. I really cannot stress this enough. This is, uh, honestly, if you're going to watch something, at least watch the, the WrestleMania 27 trip because honestly, um, how the videos come out is going to be pretty much up, up to you guys. So I'll get to that in a minute. Second part of this video is going to be me talking a little NBA. Um, two big blockbuster trades that just happened the past 24 hours, 48 hours. So I thought I would I, I like to talk about that a little bit. And I do know that, um, you know, from uh, the time I've been making NFL videos, and um, like I think I've only made like one NBA related video, which was uh, when LeBron James signed with the Heat. Um, I realized there are some people, some of my subscribe, a good portion of my subscribers that do uh, follow sports and like to talk sports on here. So I'm doing that for those people as well. All right. Uh, first, um, <clears throat> WrestleMania 27. Um, the only thing that I that I I am solid, you know, I'm 100% sure of right now is <clears throat> um, I will be doing one long video. I know some people are gonna be like, "Well, I don't want to watch like an hour long video." I'm sorry, but that's just the best way that I can do this. The reason is because I thought about the the most obvious idea: uh, upload a video for every day that I, you know. The events like I'll upload a video for Thursday, a video for Friday, a video for Saturday, a video for Sunday, a video for Monday. That way, it's all divided into parts. But the thing is, if I do that, most likely the videos for Sunday and um, actually the videos for Saturday, Sunday, Monday would probably be taken down because I'm gonna try to film inside Access and like my history shows in WrestleMania 25 Access for some reason. Even though I encourage people to go to Access, they consider it as copyright infringement. I don't understand that, but um, it's better if I just do one long video. I know people are going to be like, well, I can't sit through an hour long video. Well, just watch it in parts or come back and watch it later. I don't know, but that's uh, that's the one thing. I'm sorry, but that's, that's I'm set on doing it that way. Uh, what I need from you guys in this video is um, tell me what you guys want me to film. Um, like, really, don't hold back. I mean... I know I won't be doing Dragon Gate this year, so if you guys are going to ask about that, I won't be doing Dragon Gate. I can't film in the Hall of Fame, and besides, if I did, what difference would it really make if you think about it? Um, do you guys, and there's like the little things that probably sound like, what the fuck, why are you asking us for? But it's, everything counts because it's, you know, less time I take to upload a video, less time that it, you know, the videos come out to be. Do you guys want me to film when we, uh, me and the other three people I'm going with, um, when we go out to eat or we go uh, meet up with other YouTubers at certain, or whatever we do. Uh, I know we're going to um, like a, it's like a, a cart racing place, like a go-kart place. You guys want me to film that as well? Like, do you guys, or do you guys just want it to be strictly all wrestling, only wrestling? Because to be honest, I'd like to film both or everything, but I don't have to upload everything. I mean, to, to be honest, I probably will film everything, but what actually gets uploaded is going to be up to you guys. Um, so just leave comments down below. You know, don't hold back. Tell me what you guys want to see. If you guys just if you guys just say everything, that's the easiest way I can take it. You guys don't have to like tell me everything, blah blah blah. No, if you say everything, I'll take it literally everything. You know, the plane ride or the plane rides. Um, when I meet up with uh, Assault Battery, Luke Cage, Stevie Breach, uh, when we go out to eat, because uh, we do have we do have some ideas planned on how to make um um those portions funny or not funny but just like more entertaining uh just to make it you know just add a little uh, twist to the video uh we do plan on checking out some attractions in atlanta uh like i said earlier also hopefully we'll be uh meeting up with some youtubers i know uh instant classic gate's gonna be there i know uh, honor hammer 26 is gonna be there um those are like the only people i talk to from youtube that are going but i know they're gonna have other youtubers with them um I can't think of anyone else right now that I that I know we'll run into for sure. But yeah, so yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see. Um, and yeah, and the reason I'm putting this video up now because I'm not taking it out till March 31st. But the reason I'm putting this video up now is because I really want as much people to see this as possible, just so I can get the most input I can. If I put this up like a week before I take off, there's probably gonna be people that won't get to the video until I'm already in Atlanta, which is gonna be you know too late because I'm already filming. But um, yeah, just go ahead and uh, leave your comments down below. And uh, if you know somebody who who watches my videos or whatever, let them know. Like you don't have to tell them to, to view this video, but if you can, just tell them to drop me a tweet, whatever. Uh, just I want, like I said, I want input from everybody as possible. You know, uh, as far as what to film. Um, but yeah.
and uh, I'll, I'll do a follow-up on this on a couple of videos later in case there's some people that are asking me you know things that I can't do you know like I can't film here I can't film there something like that I'll be you know updating as as um, from now until March 31st but I just figured I put this video out now like I said to get a lot of input already going uh, coming my way all right now for uh, NBA talk here this is probably where I'm gonna lose a lot of viewers but whatever <laughs> Carmelo Anthony going to the Knicks, um, I know the obvious argument is, well, it's bad for the league to have a lot of superstars on one team, especially with, you know, how the Heat have their little trio going, although we rarely get to see the, um, well, not rarely, but we don't get to see all three of them play every now and then on the same day, but um, go, Carmelo Anthony going to the Knicks, the biggest thing I can take from this, other than, you know, will they lure other free agents to go there, like Chris Paul? Um, is it's put up or shut up time for Carmelo because he had a really good situation in Denver. Not maybe not this year, but a couple of years ago, they were there. You know, they're going to the Western Conference Finals. You know, they had a really good team. Blah blah blah. He had a he had a coach that could pretty much put up with any player in the league. George Carl. Now, that guy can. I mean, he put up with Iverson when he was in, at his worst. Like he, George Carl. Even I think even when he was with the Bucks, he had he had. Uh, players that were hard to coach but he's like i said he's a, he's a player's coach that's who he is so now he's going to mike d'antoni who runs a pretty upbeat uh, offense in new york so will, be, will he be able to adjust to that he's a new york guy you know he's played in syracuse in college um you know his a wife is from college or uh, from from in the new york area like everything about new york is him that's pretty much what he's been saying so now it's put up or shut up time he got what he got the team he wanted he got the contract he got it was just i think three years 65 million um, he got the guy he wanted. He wants to play with Amari Stoudemire. He, it, pretty much everything is going his way. So now it's put up or shut up time for him. It's because the Knicks, they didn't give up a lot, but they did give up somewhat. Um, just because I think they had a little nucleus um, intact. Yeah, given some players were project players like Gallinari, uh, Raymond Felton still wasn't the sure thing. I mean, he took him, what, like five years after he left North Carolina or whatever it's been. To, to become relevant so you know there were still project players but they did give up some project players uh for uh, Melo, they gave up a couple or i think two draft picks for him who knows what they could have done with that so Melo pretty much has to bring it now because to my knowledge i don't think new york has ever had two superstars on one team i mean i know someone's probably like knows their shit about basketball like going back to frazier's days but i mean patrick ewing oakley Starks, those guys were playing with the Knicks when I watched the Knicks. Um, who else? Uh, Allen Houston was with them. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I can't remember if Jalen Rose was with them. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank right now, but I'm just, I don't want to drag out this video. But the point is, Melo better bring it because honestly, all the pressure's on him now. Um, Darren Williams going to the New Jersey Nets. I like this deal for the Nets. Um, they didn't give up too much. I mean, they gave up a disgruntled point guard in Devin Harris. He's talented, but, you know, why keep an angry player on your team who knows he doesn't want to be there? And he showed it. Uh, Derek Favors, decent player. Decent player, but I still think he's a few years away from being a really good player. Well, at least the really good player that I'm, I think he's capable of being. They gave up a draft pick, which, you know... Again, it's not the, your ideal situation, but it's the most, it's one of the easiest things that can make you, that can put you over the hump as far as the trade goes. Uh, draft picks these days are um, high commodities. Um, I think they also give up $3 million in cash, which is like whatever, because they have a billionaire uh, owner. Now, whether um, Darren Williams will resign with the Nets, I honestly don't think it's going to be up to him. I think it's going to be up to the owner how much money he wants to give him, because to be honest, I mean, or, you know, just. The Nets are going to give them more money than the, the Utah Jazz ever possibly could. So they, they got that going for them. I honestly think that at the end of the day, money will talk as long as they put it on the table. Uh, I think this is pretty much like their trial uh, their trial period for the Nets. They really want to see how he, he you know how he interacts with the fans or how he's... If he, if he can be a New Jersey Net kind of guy and then they'll, if they'll know if they're going to throw him a shitload of money in the offseason. Um, do they have it? Of course they do, but will, will they? We'll see. And then if they do throw the money at him, will he attract other guys like Dwight Howard, maybe Kevin Garnett, maybe Ray Allen, maybe Michael Red, you know, maybe some nice little players to maybe one day build a, a good championship team there. But, yeah, it definitely has ad, adds intrigue, especially to the second half of the season. But, um, yeah, that's my video for today, and uh, thank you guys for watching.